Hi, I'm Dr. Scott. I'm excited that you're watching this video because it means you haven't given up yet. If you're like a lot of my patients, you've really probably been through a whole lot of doctors, a bunch of different diet programs, a whole bunch of pills probably and supplements and you know exercise routines, like the whole ball of wax, right? Uh, but I'm here to tell you that there's, there's one thing that all those programs have, uh, have missed and that's why you're probably still searching and you haven't got results yet. The one reason is this, they didn't find out why you gained the weight to begin with. Because your weight is a symptom that something is wrong. So the question is, what is it? What can go wrong that cause your, your, uh, for you to weight gain and not lose it? Because if you're like most of my patients, you've dieted and you exercise, you've done all the stuff and the same stuff that your friends did and they lost weight and you did it and you're like, there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you, just you have broken physiology. There's something wrong that's preventing you from gaining weight. You see, you have hormones in your body that will either make you gain weight or make you lose weight. And if they get out of balance, man, you can exercise and diet all you want and you'll never lose the weight. These are the people I generally work with. Uh, so we have to get to the underlying reason of why you're having the thyroid problems. So let's talk about some of the big ones that we see in our practice. Number one. It could be your thyroid. So weight gain is the symptom. What can contribute to the thyroid? The weight gain is your thyroid. About 90% of the people I work with in my weight loss program, they have a thyroid imbalance. Okay, watch my other thyroid videos to go more in depth with that. But I'm telling you, it could be your thyroid. Your thyroid regulates your metabolism. If you got a problem there, good luck. Everything slows down, you'll never lose weight. You could be on 500 calories a week, and I mean a day, and still not lose anything. Okay, so it could be your thyroid gland. Now the number one cause of thyroid malfunctions in the United States, which affects 90%, okay, 90% of people that have been diagnosed with a thyroid problem, and it's the number one cause, is called Hashimoto's, okay? Hashimoto's. And this Hashimoto's is an autoimmune condition. The immune system is attacking the thyroid gland, and it gives you a thyroid problem that makes you gain weight. So, did any of your diet programs, anyone have talked to you that could be a possibility for you? No. That's why they all fail you. Because they're focusing on your weight, not the problem. Okay. Next thing we see a lot is blood sugar. Okay. We have to make sure your blood sugar is regulated properly. If not, you'll have a very difficult time losing weight. Why? Because there's a particular hormone dealing with blood sugar. It's called insulin. And when the insulin goes up, it's going to tell your body to store fat, all right? Uh, all, usually diabetes, it comes from too much insulin production or too much insulin in your, your uh, bloodstream all the time and all of a sudden your cells that listen to insulin start turning off and you develop insulin resistance and then you develop diabetes. So on your blood work, 85 to 99 is what your glucose should be and you should be below 5.6 on your hemoglobin A1C test. That's the average of last three months test. The best thing is A1C. Okay? Another test you could run is called a C-peptide test. This C-peptide test tells us your insulin levels. It's a very good test. Okay? So you got to be in there. We got to make sure your blood sugar is balanced big time with, with weight loss issues. What else can go wrong? Well, it could be a gut problem. All right? Uh, what happens in your gut is about 80% uh, of your immune system is in your gut and 90% of all your food is absorbed there. So if you have a gut problem, you could really run into issues. Um, one particular problem we see in the gut a lot is called leaky gut. Your, your intestinal barrier leaks, leaks food and bacteria into your bloodstream, then it circulates throughout your whole body and your body reacts to it. Leaky gut. You can have this and have no symptoms, right? Or your symptom is weight gain. Okay? So leaky gut. So a gut issue, big, big problem. Let's talk about some regular hormones. One in particular is called cortisol hormone. This is your belly fat hormone. This is the hormone that tells you, you need to, you're going to gain weight. Okay, is a cortisol hormone. Uh, if this cortisol gets out of balance, it's a stress hormone. It will make it so you can't go to sleep or stay asleep, give you short-term memory loss. Cortisol actually 
The number one purpose of cortisol is to raise your blood sugar. That's like the main purpose of cortisol. So cortisol is also responsible for 50% of all female and male hormone imbalances. So critical we find out cortisol, all right? Now you could have other hormones like progesterone or just think of it male and female imbalances because those can contribute to that as well. What else can go wrong? Well, it could be your brain. You can actually have brain problems that are contributing to this imbalance. Okay, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, look at some of my brain videos for that. Uh, you could have some food allergies. Okay, food allergies that your body doesn't react to. The, thing, the, the key thing is this, is if you want to lose weight, you've got to make sure that nothing's irritating the system. If you're eating foods that you're sensitive to, not necessarily intolerant, but sensitive to, it becomes a major, major problem because this, uh, one of the, the problems with eating foods that you're sensitive to, it creates inflammation. And that's my next one. Inflammation. Inflammation is what's killing everybody in the United States, is inflammation. It's causing heart attacks, strokes. Inflammation's a bad guy. Uh, if you're overweight, you probably have inflammation. The question is, why are you having the inflammation? We gotta get to it. So here's the scenario. Let's talk about this. And this is the, how I like to explain to people why they're still struggling. So let's say that you have, you're eating, say, gluten or wheat, for example. Just to use that example. It could be anything. Let's say tomatoes. Let's change it. Let's say tomatoes. You're eating tomatoes. You don't sit well with them. Okay? And it irritates your immune system. So what happens? That food allergy develops an inflammation process. Okay? And that food allergy, because it's irritating your gut, comes down here and gives you a gut problem. So now you got a gut problem because you're getting foods and inflammation. Well, what do we have in your gut? There's the immune system is there. So guess what that does? Comes up here, it can give you a thyroid problem because your immune system is messed up. You're not absor absorbing your food right. You develop a leaky gut, right? Do you think if you've got waste in your bloodstream, like poo, do you think that would be stressful to your body? Just the thought of it stresses me out, okay? Well, yes, it's a stress. So what happens is now this gut develops into a cortisol stress hormone problem. And then that hormone problem develops into male and female hormone imbalances. Now remember, cortisol's main purpose is to dump sugar into your blood. So now you get high blood sugar problems. Okay, now you got a blood sugar problem. And keep in mind, your blood sugar and your thyroid are like brother and sister. They go hand in hand right there. All right? And so you have all of this going on. And then someone tells you, all you have to do is diet and exercise. Well, now you know just diet and exercising alone, if you have broken physiology, is not going to get you anywhere. All right? You got to fix the physiology. And then the, the weight literally melts off you. So... What our approach is, is we want to find out what the underlying issues are. How do we do it? We've got to test you. We pull a lot of tests that not too many doctors pull. So that's the basis of our program here.